Oh yeah. It's good to see you motherfuckers, man. This next song here, I just gotta tell you, I wrote this for a hero of mine. I, uh, as a young kid, of course, I looked up to some of the greats, like Mr. Rob Halford himself, of course. Yeah. He was so kind to come by the dressing room and introduce himself earlier. What a great cat, man. What a cool dude. Yeah. But you look up to these great idols and, you know, but sometimes you might be like John, you might like Ghost Rider. You can be like Cord over here, be a big Spider-Man fan. But my hero was a different sort. My hero wore a cowboy hat. Around the band was a great old deal of sweat. A little bit of dirt. He wore a pearl snap. He wore Texas made Justice. I called him Dad. He was my father. I looked up to him so. I wanted to walk like him. I wanted to talk like him. He was a cool motherfucker. I used to tell everyone, if I was half as cool as my dad, I'd be the second coolest motherfucker on the face of the earth. My dad had a way about him, he had a Texas swagger. And when he walked, he had that Texas strut. I wanted to match him stride for stride as I grew into a man. That's what I wanted to be like. My dad had rules though, he wouldn't let me fight in school, which pissed me off. Cause I didn't like anybody and I wanted to whoop everybody's fucking ass. But he would tell me, son, you weigh 300 pounds, you're six foot tall, and you're in the fourth grade. You cannot be whooping nobody's ass today. But the day did come, I had to stop a mud hole in some stupid idiot's ass. And I ran straight home to tell my dad I wanted to be the first to tell him I had fucked up. I walked in the door and my dad looked at me and said, uh-huh. He started reaching for his belt and as he did, he told me, he said, some people wear a belt to hold their pants up. Son, I wear this belt just so I can whoop your fucking ass with it. And I said, Dad, I had to whoop his ass. You see, he spit on me. And my dad buckled his belt back up and he said, Right on. <laughs> right on. My dad didn't straighten me out too good because when I was 19, I'd gotten a call from a buddy of mine. He said, Man, DEA is at your house and your dog is going crazy. And so is theirs. So I didn't go home, I went to my dad's and when I walked in the door, he had that look on his face, that fucked up look like, I know, you're fucked up, but you're mine. <laughs> and before I could get anything out of my mouth, he looked at me and he tossed me the keys to his own motorcycle and he said, son, ride on. Ride on.